So we're back, and uh, we just got into a nice little plaza there to get a little bit of Subway and uh, Starbucks uh, vanilla bean uh, frappe yogurty thing on the side with some granola and all this kind of stuff that Thomas likes. And uh, Alice got herself some flatbread uh, uh, stuff at uh, Subway, trying to eat healthy and stuff. So uh, the beauty of that little plaza is it's got everything except a way to get out of the plaza. It's got, because all the streets seem to have medians around them, and you just can't seem to go the direction you want to go. So I just thought uh, I'd mention, that's why people have roundabouts, I think. Roundabouts work because you can just drive out in, and it's great. If you have roundabouts in your town, let me know why, what you think of them, and what good they are for you. If you like them, if they pay off, if they're worth worth putting in for convenience because they are better for the environment um, when you use the brakes on your car you don't have to press as hard on your brakes so it's better on your brakes you don't have to accelerate as hard because you haven't come to a complete stop so it's better on your fuel consumption your gas tank and the environment and pollution uh, factors so roundabouts are really cool I think they're better than just uh, uh, T-bone intersections with uh, medians all around the place. Let me know in the comment window below uh, what you think about that and, uh, and and tell me what you're doing today here in Muskoka. I mean, or wherever you are. Because now we're not in Muskoka. We're in lovely Barrie, Ontario. Everybody say hi. Hi. <laughs> we're actually in Maple. Maple Woodlands. So, have a great day.